Ola Capricorn Sun Sagittarius Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can easily set that up. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also be sure to check out your 2021 Sun Moon predictions that are in my playlist still. See if they rang true for you. Uh, the first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2022. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2022 i'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors so capricorn sun sagittarius moons you have an incredible focus and work ethic that will assure you a place at the top your ambitious nature combined with the need to explore and discover gives you a global perspective that is the formula to your success the fact that you always push yourself with your thirst for knowledge will never have you okay with just settling your humorous but not silly and there's a dry wit about you that can border sarcasm while you do have a conventional side to you you favor innovation and progressive ideas typically you stand against bullies and defend the other dog underdog while you can be amicable you enjoy a good competition and debate in fact you do have a desire to prove your opponent wrong if you were given the opportunity because you're usually right and have the confidence to defend that with an ability to figure out complex problems by thinking outside of the box you do so in a timely manner which makes you an asset in times of crisis the this often places you in a position of leadership or owning a business when it comes to relationships you tend to favor a partner who is free spirited spirited and open to learning new concepts and cultures you're not drawn in by looks alone and there needs to be something deeper to hold your interest and pin down your wandering soul in return you will provide well for your mate as long as they don't take to telling you what you should do so holy spirit angels divine guys of the universe can you please provide your truth your wisdom your clarity and your insight for capricorn sun sagittarius moons for the year 2022 what do you see what do they need to know to reach your higher ground become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages any messages please what do you see for january february march january february march for capricorn sun sagittarius moons we have the page of wands in the upright also make sure you did not skip over my intro in there <laughs> a lot of people miss it i describe what your sun moon combination is and then i also um yeah do that right um but i get people that ha that are or, or they don't realize that there's a continuation to this they say well is that it uh no there's a vimeo continuation and then um you know if you skipped over the intro then you totally missed out on your uh sun moon combination so don't skip over it go back and look at it um nine of swords in the upright for april may june uh what do you see for july august september for capricorn sun sagittarius moons Queen of Swords in the upright. Also be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Please support my channel. October, November, December for Capricorn Sun Sagittarius Moons. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reversed. I almost feel like the Queen of Pen Queen of Swords in the upright is warning you of that um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. But anyway, so we start off the year pretty good this is a little bit of a segmented reading it doesn't really flow as as nice as i would like it to and that's okay sometimes i'm just shown snapshots of um the year 2022 so it seems like in the beginning of the year you have a fantastic idea um page of wands in the upright is an idea it's the spark it's not the action so it seems as though um you have an idea that's going to bring about change that's going to inspire things to be done differently that's what you typically are known from doing uh could be an incredibly innovative a project it could be a you know um, a new career for you it could be something you'd like to invest your energies into um, whatever it is you have a lot of energy you would like to pursue it you would like to fan it into a flame um, you could have gotten this idea through some news the pages usually bring news or news or messages so you might have received news or message that um, allowed you to take something to another level but definitely a creative time for you thinking outside of the box um, you know in order to change bring about change and progress so that's what I have for January February March April May June you're a little bit in your head the nine of swords in the upright you may be really agitated about something your mind's doing overtime keeping you awake at night um, this is the paralysis through analysis card so you know just thinking worrying about things that you probably don't have very much control over um, you know and it's bringing about very negative emotions um, very negative thought processes um, 
you know, that, that have you in a very bad state, so to speak. So, um, state of anxiety. So, um, you know, be careful of that. You might be under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure around this time, and you might be, you might try to find another outlet or, you know, realize that worrying about things you have no control over, uh, really has no point. So you might want to focus on the things you do have control over during this period of time. Now, we get to the Queen of Swords in the upright for July, August, September. This is where I think you finally see your way forward. Okay, so you see the bigger picture. You know what you're supposed to do. You know it's the right thing to do. Um, you're taking your feelings out of it, possibly some of your overthinking you were doing here, um, and you're seeing your way forward. And you don't kind of want anybody kind of standing in your way, um, telling you otherwise. So you may have people in here that try to cause interference or try to distract you or trying to be foolish, and you're just kind of like, Look, lead, follow, or get out of my way. That's one of the um, one of the quotes I think of the MacArthur quote when I think of the Queen of Swords in the upright. Um, but she is pointing over to here, which kind of catches my attention for October, November, December, and. Um, um, I want you to make sure in October, November, December that you aren't so set in your ways that it's actually going to work against you. So um, I'm hoping you're not going to be too like stuck um, in your way of thinking, really obstinate, not open to change, not open to being tolerant. Um, this might be where you think you're overly right or you overly think that something should be done a certain way. And I almost feel like the Queen of Swords is, is kind of cautioning you, um, you know, in October, November, December from doing Doing this this could actually end up like I said working against you um, so there's that and then also with the nine of Pentacles I'd like to throw in there sometimes make sure you check your finances um, if you haven't been keeping up to date on them or you haven't been keeping an eye on them um, go check them out make sure that everything's kind of taken care of because the Knight of Pentacles or reverse can be you know being loose with your finances or, or you know, not having them under lock and key, um, and, and then being mismanaged or somebody mismanaging them for you. So that is what I have for your 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these cards on these cards for a deeper interpretation, in addition to a card of advice for 2022. Also check out your 2021 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. Um, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in support of my channel. Otherwise, Capricorn, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.